Hey, what's up everyone? It's a little bit windy, I hope that's fine. Um, we are at the bottom of Camps Bay Pipe Track and we're going to have to race sunrise or sunset up to the mountain again. Um, as usual, we're a little late and I'm actually meeting with Nick. Hopefully we can get there in time for some good light. It's looking good. There's no cloud in the sky. There's barely any wind. It's a little bit windy and the golden light is starting to hit the mountains already. So really exciting. Yes. <laughs> What's up? How's it? So how long does this normally take? Uh, this normally takes about just over an hour. But yeah, we're going to see how it goes. We have about um, 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hopefully we've got wind behind our back. of the fun bit now it's up there let's go let's start some sweating <laughs> the sun sets in about 15 minutes and well it's sort of hazy on the horizon so what it does it goes really really deep golden and then it just fades out and I think we might miss it. The mountain behind us is glowing red and we're really going for it to get there. It's so steep. Hopefully we make it in time. I'm so hoping we get there because it's looking amazing and we're only in a little forest right now. Once we get out it'll be mind-blowing I'm sure. So let's make those calves and his thighs burn. All right, fine. We missed sunset and we missed golden hour. And now there's just this afterglow on the horizon. Really nice, but I'm just going to wait for some stars or maybe some night sky to capture. In the meantime, get our breath back and maybe have a bit of a sandwich or something. Yeah, yeah, so Nick was awesome and bought us something to eat. Cool, so we now have this transition from day to night and I've just set up a little time lapse and I'll blend it in now. We have the EM1 Mark II and the microphone's not necessary in this case but I'm filming with the 12 to 100 IS Pro lens at 12 millimeters and we're looking over Camps Bay that's Lion's Head and Table Mountain on the right. That there was a black widow and it was just across the path. That's a pretty deadly spider, so thanks to Nick for spotting it. <laughs> I would have walked straight through it. So yeah, don't go walking alone. Cool, that was it. Um, not really got a shot and that's what it's about. Sometimes you don't get what you want and it's all about going back or just trying a different time, a different time of year, different time of the day. Maybe get there a little earlier. I don't think you're gonna get it. <laughs> in the wind. All right, that's it for this week's episode. I'm very sorry. As you might've noticed, there wasn't a single shot, a single bit of um, information. It was really good for you in there. And that's because there was just nothing much to talk about. Um, we were too slow, the sun was too fast, the hike was too long and we basically missed the best time to shoot a great photo. And that's what photography sometimes is about, especially adventure photography. Um, I'm going on these adventures with an uncertain and unknown outcome and I don't know if I'll get a good shot and I've had a few actually that I've never published um, where, I get out, where I go out and film and then in the end there's just no shot. And that's, that's just what happens and I've just not been publishing it because I don't want to, you know, make boring videos that you don't want to come back to and watch more of. This is the one, the one I promised, the one where there is no shot and nothing really to learn from. Um, there's not always success all the time and everywhere and um, I have to work hard to get, or we all have to work hard to get good shots. And as a photographer, it's all about getting, coming back to a place and repeating a process and 
and you know studying the light studying the weather studying the location and being as certain as you can be before you go to a certain location that you will get a good shot and know what you want and then the chance of getting a good shot and the likelihood of getting a good shot actually increases i think that's what photography is about um, or adventure photography is mostly about and i think a lot of photographers would agree that that's what it comes down to. Sorry, again, there was not much content in this episode. If you do enjoy my videos or if you haven't seen the previous episodes, please check them out because there's usually it's a little more interesting my videos. And um, if you really like this one too, like share, share your failures with me. Let me know in the comments below the times that you've epically failed, gone out on an adventure or on a shoot and things just went completely pear-shaped, went completely not according to plan. Um, we all have those stories. I know you have them too, so share them below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, check the little bell icon so you get a notification when there's a new video and then you won't miss out on future episodes and go check out the old videos as well if you haven't yet. And until then, um, I will be producing more and more exciting videos next week, I swear, I promise. Uh, we are still in South Africa for the next uh, 10 days and then we're heading to Namibia. So there's plenty of awesome content coming up. Two awesome road trips going off-road, waterfalls, landscapes, epic roads really really excited about what's to come so stay tuned please subscribe to not miss out on that and um, until then i'll see you next week and please keep shooting